Hey, Mark Poole here. I want to share a book that I recently read with you. It's entitled Atomic Habits by James Clear. Terrific book. A lot of take-home points. I took 11 notes that I wrote down about it. And his basic idea is that life is made up of tiny, tiny habits. Things you do every day, routine, you don't even hardly think about them. But added up over months, years, decades can lead to either success or failure. And oftentimes we just lapse into these behaviors we don't consciously think about. Do I want to be doing that or not? And sometimes even we have habits that we'd like to break or habits we'd like to make, but we have difficulty doing so. This isn't a book about philosophy. It's not about how you should do this or do that. He doesn't mention habits that you should have or shouldn't have. It's more about you identify for yourself the habits that you would like to work on, and this gives you tips and techniques to be more effective in doing so. For instance, he mentions that if you're trying to develop a new habit, something you haven't been doing before, and let's say you want to become a runner. You, you have a goal to run a marathon, so your habit needs to be to train, to run. Well, a lot of people would start out with lofty goals. They say, I, my goal is to run five kilometers per day, and I'll work up to the a marathon, but the problem is it's hard to sustain that if you're going from nothing to something that's great. He says a new habit that you're trying to form should not take more than two minutes to do. So a goal for a runner who's never run before would be to tie the laces on your running shoes. I love it. It's not even to go run. It's just to take that first step. Make that your habit. And once you're in the habit of doing that, then you'll add to it. You'll gain some momentum and you'll be running before you know it. You'll eventually be able to get to your goal. If you start out too difficult, however, and try to run 5K every day, you're likely to to get stopped at some point and you'll just give up entirely on your goal. So to get to where you want to be, you have to start off small, start off easy, if you will, no more than two minutes at a time and it can help get you towards your goal. Another type of idea that he mentions is that uh, you need to just declare what you are. Okay, so you say not, I would like to run in a marathon, you say I'm a runner. Even if you're not actually running yet, if you put your shoes on and tie them, you can say you're a runner. It creates this psychological effect where you're wanting to engage that process. Uh, on the flip side, you're trying to stop smoking. Instead of saying, no thank you, if someone offers you a cigarette, no thank you, I'm trying to quit, that leaves open the possibility of failure. It's more effective to say, no, I'm not a smoker. You'll be convincing yourself that you're not a smoker and it will help you to develop a habit of not smoking. A lot of great tools and techniques like that in the book. Uh, I highly recommend it. And be sure to check out my next video because I'll explain an intriguing story that he tells from this book that I had never heard before as regards nuclear weapons. Thanks and God bless.